And the recent scorching heat is also taking a toll on pets. And now animal advocates are really sounding the alarm. Definitely right now with the heat index, you know, we have to be mindful on when we take our pets out uh, for either exercise or even just to use the bathroom. And even though we may see a slight dip in daytime temperatures over the next couple of days, your pet can still be hurt. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier is joining us live with a pet to explain. Eric? Yeah, this is my dog, Porg, and he doesn't do very well in extreme, extremely hot temperatures, especially under direct sunlight for a long period of time when uh, the temperatures on the sidewalks can rise well above 100 degrees. And according to the animal experts I spoke with today, uh, he's not alone. It's not even officially the dog days of summer yet, and already the Forever Vets Animal Hospital emergency room is seeing its fair share of canine patients suffering from heat-related illnesses. But we do see a lot of um, dogs that come from like other boarding facilities, um, you know, uh, dog parks and things like that, that, that uh, experience, you know, or, or do have those, those symptoms and signs of heat stroke. Jacksonville Animal Care and Protective Services says the heat has been so bad that they have investigated three heat-related dog deaths within the past three weeks. Two of the dogs died from being left outside in the heat with no water. The third dog died in a home that had no working air conditioner. Also, within the past three weeks, animal control officers have responded to an estimated 300 animal distress or cruelty calls related to the hot temperatures. Animal experts say dog breeds with short snouts have a much harder time in the heat. How long does it take for an animal like that to really start to show signs or symptoms that something is really wrong? So you should notice it uh, within a matter of minutes, you know, when they are struggling. So you're going to notice increased panting, um, you know, increased salivation. They're going to be very restless. The dog's gum color will turn from pink to red as the symptoms get worse. Depending on how long the dog has been suffering in the heat, an expensive trip to the animal ER becomes necessary. This could potentially be uh, fatal for the pet as well, and they could potentially have things that are irreversible. But doggy heat strokes are not the only cases popping up at the ER when daytime temperatures are in the 90s. We do see a lot of um, heat-related injuries also in, the, in their pads uh, from just walking or going for a short jog. While hot air temperatures can make it harder for your dog to breathe and cool off, surface temperatures can burn the pads on your dog's feet. Experts say surface temperatures can be 40 to 60 degrees hotter than air temperatures. Here on the Riverwalk, when many people walk and even jog with their dog, the current temperature is 96 degrees. However, according to our infrared thermometer here, the surface temperature of this brick is about 119 degrees. This asphalt is showing 129 degrees. This concrete is showing 110. Experts advise walking your pet in grass or dirt they also advise using dog socks that provide a protective barrier between the ground and your dog's pads. Socks can cost between $18 and $40, far less than a trip to the emergency room. Back here live, even when outside temperatures are in the upper 80s, surface temperatures, and I mean this surface temperature like right here on, these, uh, on this uh, uh, sidewalk, can get up to 143 degrees. Uh, uh, that's why those socks really come in handy and things like this. And obviously, my dog can now lay down. If this was uh, during the daylight hours, there's no way he'd be able to lay down. Uh, because this would just be entirely too hot. Now, coming up at 11, uh, you're going to hear from, we're going to take you to a, uh, a boarding facility to see what they're doing to keep their dogs and animals safe from the heat. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.